is the front runner, Dan, for NFL MVP? Jonathan Taylor. That's uh, not true. Uh, Jonathan that's Taylor. Not true, uh, it has you know why been. he's doing this? Because he's all about the Colts right now. And, and he's going to ride well, that no, wave. No, 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 she no, left you hanging. She left you hanging. She left you hanging. She left you hanging. Well, here's the thing. You know why he picked Jonathan Taylor? Because he's actually carrying. He's carrying his boy Carson Wentz. Exactly. Right, he's making he's it's making people he's making Carson always. Wentz look good because Jonathan always. Taylor's playing so smile. well. Carson Wentz can win games with twelve passes. He, he can't Don't wait. Don't lose your friendship he, on television, wait, both listen, of you. Hold up, he can't wait to talk about the Patriots game, but we're doing that oh, yeah, later. Yeah, so yeah, don't, yeah. don't go there. Well, yet. one of the reasons I can't not wait yet. to talk about not this yet. is because okay, six weeks ago I said Jonathan Taylor was the MVP. Yeah. It was post that Buffalo game. Yep. And going into this weekend, everyone was like, well, Bill Belichick's going to take away what the Indianapolis Colts do best, which is run the football with Jonathan Taylor. He put 170 on their head, obviously a 67-yarder yep. to break away and end that football game. Jonathan Taylor averages 100 yards rushing per game. He's averaging five yards per carry. He has scored more touchdowns than games played. The last human being to do that was O.J. Jim Brown did it in 1958 and won MVP. Aaron Rodgers is having a great season. But the, 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 the Green Bay Packers are a fantastic football team that has a coach of the year candidate and a much improved defense. The Indianapolis Colts, in an era where very much so passing game, we are turning around and hand the ball to the back. He had a primetime performance on national television against the best defensive coach of all time this past week. He's got another one Guys. coming this weekend where he's going to have to play against a team that two weeks ago was the number one seed okay. in the NFC. Right now, Jonathan Taylor. Dead. Is what the you're MVP doing. of the league. You're trying to treat everybody the same, right? It's not, she's not you're asking to treat you. People equal. No, you're trying to treat everybody the same, right? What you do is you treat everybody fairly. You don't treat everybody the same, right? What's fair is that Jonathan Taylor is very important to his team. Right. Is Jonathan Taylor more important to his team than Derek Henry? You can't use that argument. Than, than Derek you can't Henry use that argument. So here's, so here's the argument. Here's the argument. Here's my argument. We know how the voting goes. We know that the Green Bay Packers are a better team than the Indianapolis Colts. And as well as Jonathan Taylor is playing, the way that this voting goes is if your team is one of the better teams, one of the best teams in the yep. league, and your star player is the reason for that, that guy wins it. Normally, that star player is a quarterback. I agree with you if the question was who should win yeah. the MVP. But who the front runner is for the MVP is Aaron Rodgers. It's Aaron Rodgers because when he's played, his team's only lost two games. It's Aaron Rodgers because the numbers say it, the film mm. say it, and the wins and the losses say it. There is no quarterback in the world playing at a higher level than Aaron Rodgers is. And sometimes it's accidentally on an accident. This man is making <laughs> throws that nobody in the world is making. He's MBS. complaining about his toe, yet running for first downs when he needs to, creating plays to get Aaron Jones open. And you can say whatever you want about this dude and how you feel about the way he's conducted himself as a person this year. But when it comes to a player, this has been the baddest man on the planet, okay. and I ain't even Stephen right. A. Time out. I'm time sorry, out, time, time is out. out. Time time out. Okay. out. No, 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 it's not that, because there's a couple things I want to get to from what you said. First of all, where I'm not with you is what Ryan said. An 8-6 and six record, not going to cut it, and we know this is a quarterback's award. But hold that thought, hold that thought. Okay. Okay. Hold it. People, humans are voting on this, correct? Don't you think folks are going to be bitter about Aaron Rodgers and the whole immunized comments? Don't you think that is going to be held against him in this? Well, uh, to answer that question, if, if they are, shame on them. Shame you're on you're them. voting for football, not for a, a, a personal Con yeah. Yeah. congeniality this is, this is, this is, or whatever. This, this, this yeah. is not Walter but, uh, but I'm just saying, do, I think, yeah, do you think it's going to factor in? Yeah, people are I do. I, I, yeah. I agree with that, and they might hold it against them. I'll go back to the eight and six record, though. They, the, the first five games for Indianapolis were the five hardest the five hardest games to start a season in the history of the NFL. Molly, that's why when they were one and four, I said, "Dude, watch yeah, out for uh, watch out for the Colts. They're a very, very, very good team." I need to pull it up right now. No, definitely said, "Oh, NFL Live." Yeah, I, will, I actually watched some scary. Their first need to look five at games it. are the hardest five game stretch to start a season in the history of the NFL. So the reason that Seahawks, have, Rams, Colts, Dolphins, Ravens, yeah, to start a season. Okay. To start a season. That's before we knew some of them teams think. <laughs> like right. Miami. Okay, right. okay, okay. Right. And also. But, that stat worked then. Carry on. But, but here's my thing. The reason they've climbed themselves out of that kind of hole they dug. Yeah. Outside of good, consistent quarterback play. Was that Jonathan Taylor has become <laughs> the MVP of the NFL. That's, that's the reason why they dug themselves out of the hole. Outside we can't, of what? And you can't use. <laughs> Excuse me? Outside you can't use... It was, it was great quarterback play. You, oh, okay. I said very good. You can't use <laughs> most important person. That's the quarterback. He's going to touch the ball every play. 
So we can't use that. Most impactful, uh, Daniel, most dominant. Daniel, 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 I'm not, we're not talking about what I can and cannot So you use. agree with we're me. Talking, I just want you to say I, that. No, I think. You agree with I me. I think that you are right. He should be the MVP. Okay. But that's not the question we were asked. Who is the MVP front runner? And that's Aaron Rodgers. I disagree. I still think it's Jonathan Taylor coming off of. That's because you said it six weeks ago, Dan, and you don't want to. You don't want to come off of that's it. That's partly true. But also. <laughs> well, it's also what he just saw them do against against the Patriots as well on but Saturday night. Yeah. This team in, in a matter of a month. Dontrell in, Hilliard and oh. Devontae. Foreman rushed for 270 against but the Patriots. In a matter of a month, the Colts have gone from a, a afterthought yeah. to a team now people are going, can they come from out of the mm -hmm. can come, come out of the AFC? They have done it over the course of two really big games. They go and absolutely hammer Buffalo, who we thought was a big yep. time contender weeks ago, on the back of Jonathan Taylor. And then they go and hammer Indianapolis, who many think is a Super Bowl contender, on the back of Jonathan Taylor. That right there is the definition of MVP. They have beaten two of the best teams in the conference with the run game and have climbed into yes. potential playoff seating. Yes. It might be on the back of Jonathan Taylor, yeah. but it is on the arm of Aaron Rodgers. Bro, I don't know if you remember what this offense looked like against Kansas City without Aaron Rodgers. See, I, I, I'm, I'm in by myself there. That offense I did not think looked terrible against Kansas City. They just didn't score in the red zone and had two, two missed field goals and two giveaways. I don't think that offense looks terrible against Kansas City. And by the way, a lot of offenses have looked to get terrible okay. against Kansas City the okay. last seven weeks. RC needs to take a moment. I'll just ask you this really quickly I before we two move man on. Race. Oh, that's what I was going to say. Tom, so Tom Brady's out. My guy Brady's out. I, I think it's a two-man race because Brady's schedule he is super, a shutout, yeah. Yeah. and it's super light in the back end. Or the Aaron, they're brother. fighting yeah. for the one seed now, so his play is going to be big. And then again, Jonathan Taylor this weekend against Arizona, Indy wins, and he has. Okay. I think he goes for over 200 this right. weekend. I know. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.